good weekend. It's going to be a very, very good weekend. Just going to parallel park that sucker. Yep. Bad ass, mate. I guess so. Clips up there already, mate. Absolutely. Yeah. Set. Stay ready. Can you just blow so that flag stands out? Like just. I try and do this when I get out of Oh, it's video, so I can do it in slow mo. <laughs> Where do you even begin to explain what this is to me, mate? So this is a, uh, it, we call her the Patriot, uh -huh. and she is a uh, 22 foot long, built by a gentleman named Del Earnhardt. Not Dern, Del Earnhardt, okay. Del Earnhardt from El Paso, Texas. Yep. Amazing, amazing guy. Um, 
The engine is out of the Patriot Muscle Defense System. So that's that's for real. I hear that before. Yeah, so this actually powered the Patriot Missile Defense System. There's six adapter plates between the engine and the Turbo 400. <laughs> There's no gas pedal. If you look down real quick, um, it's actually uh, controlled by the throttle. Oh, no the boat throttle in the middle, and they got the F-16 shifter in there. Um, the, uh, the air ride um, is built by a guy that builds high-end um, dragster chassis. Yep. This has the, the air tanks, or World War II bomber air oh, tanks. Oh, no way. So these come out of a World War II bomber, and that's what they use for air ride. And then the propane tanks <laughs> are what you use for diesel fuel. Um, again, it's got, a, it's got the American flag on it, but I actually have a, a gooseneck trailer, a 36-foot-long gooseneck trailer that we'll tow this one, we'll tow that crazy one over there, and a couple other ones. Thank you for your service, by the way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, boy, this would be a bitch to parallel park. Yeah, it, it, you, know, you got get a park where you, wherever you can. The cool thing about this engine, though, it is 100% air-cooled. So it sucks air through this cooling turbine. It blows it across this plenum. And then if you look up underneath here, you'll see bended jugs like you see on a motorcycle. Yep. And so it just blows that air across them. Here. Sure, go ahead. Absolutely. Uh, the, the door latch is inside the door up front. Oh, that this door handle is a faker. So the train's coming. This could be a great picture, you know. <laughs> I'd back you against the train. Yeah, there you go. So how long did this build take? Nine months, believe it or not. Nine months. Yep. You had some time on your hands with this Nine guy. Nine months. Uh, buddy, well, you know, I wish I could take credit, but a guy, again, Dale Earnhardt yeah. built it. And it's kind of really, it's really neat because yes, it the, is. the trunnion bearings are here. So this is where all the weight is, right? Instead of having all the weight over the axle like you would normally have, it's actually back here where the cantilever airbag system's at. Another interesting fact, if you look here, See these coils? Yes, sir. They're actually um, uh, engine mounts now, but this engine's designed to be able to be dropped out of the back of an airplane. Right? Yeah, yeah. And so it comes in a big aluminum crate, and so what these do is they're like shock absorbers. So when it hits the ground, it basically allows it to come up. Remember my cousin Vinny? Yeah. Here we go. I, the train. I suddenly feel like we're in my cousin Vinny. <laughs> I was gonna say the rims are cherry. Like what? Yeah, we just put the new rims and tires on it. Um, we just added this nose art. This nose art um, was done by a guy named Dan Johnson at Knuckleheads uh, oh, yep. Paint. And man, that guy is incredible. The work that he does. So we did all that um, in my shop. Unfortunately, sitting on a couch cushion because they, they couldn't get it up on the lift. So, and then obviously you got the flying pig up front. A lot of people don't pick up on. <laughs> Good lord. So what is the wheelbase? 22 feet. <laughs> 22 feet. 22 feet. And then what, obviously the Odin 36 foot Mongo stack on the back. It's, uh, it's, quite, the, it's quite, quite the head turner. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's a little difficult to drive. I can't even imagine. But that's not the point, right? Yeah, exactly. The so point the, is not how you drive it, it's that you can drive it. Yeah, the interesting thing is that, again, you have the boat throttle, you have a... 400 manual valve body, turbo 400 with a manual valve body, steering, blinker. So you're trying to manage all of that while you're 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 throttling, you're blinker, you're shifting. It, it's a handful. What engine actually? Like what what cubic inch would you call this? It's a 12.7 liter. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Do you have any idea of horsepower? Is it even a way to measure it? Five horse, 1300 foot pounds of torque. So the torque is where it's at. Absolutely. Pull the bend out of a river. Yeah, absolutely. You could. It definitely can. So when you're not driving this steam train, this yeah. is your bad boy too, mate. Yeah, I've got a kind of a, uh, an addiction. So. You would think. Uh, there's not much more you could fit in here. I'm just... No. So this is a... <laughs> this is a 12 valve Cummins uh, compound turbo nitrous uh, pushing about 1200 horsepower 1800 foot pounds of torque um, the, the cab is a, a 36 Dodge that's been chopped um, 
and uh, it's got a motor rear end and a uh, 727 transmission. And the uh, the driver's viewpoint inside this thing, looking over the top of this, would be minimal. Is uh, almost zero. <laughs> but you don't drive it to be safe. No, that'd be cool. <laughs> well, I think you've, you've pulled that off for sure, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How long did this pack, this one take? This one was built by a different company than ours, and uh, we, I basically redone the engine, redone the rear end, redone the cab. Um, so all in all, it's been a, it's been about a year and a half recently. I'm pretty rough on them. I break them pretty bad. Ah, oh, so, tough like, on the gear, are we? Yeah, I just blew the transmission in this, and to get the transmission out, you actually have to pull the motor. Oh. So uh, the guys over at. Uh, York Diesel Performance in uh, Lebanon, Missouri hooked me up, and then the pump has been redone by a gentleman which you'll meet here real soon, his name is Mike Glover. Um, this thing is incredible. They would love it when you pull into the workshop, they'd be like, oh great, he's back. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Taylor, you have the key? Taylor, you have the key? You gotta see this thing. It, it, there was so much torque, it almost wants to flip over. It's crazy. <laughs> Taylor! Bring me the phone. I'm sorry. He wants to hear it wrong. Thanks, Taylor. Good job, mate. You guys might want to watch out. We're going to get a little smoke. So that train was just pathetic, really, that rolled past before, right? <laughs> Just grilling out, mate. Wow. Whew. Thanks, mate. I could ask why, but that would be the obvious question. Why not? Correct. <laughs> what is this beautiful, beautiful piece? This is a 1935 Chevy sedan, uh, heavily modified custom frame. <laughs> heavily modified? Yeah. I Where? Mean, it's, it's almost stock, you know. Yeah, minor yeah. Minor modifications. <laughs> uh, Got rid, got rid of the hood, you know, for weight well, reduction. Well, yeah, I mean, I could see that. Yeah. It cuts through the air a whole lot better now, I would think, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cut sideways, circles. Depends on how hard you hit the throttle. Where do you get all the ideas for something like this? Uh, I'm ADHD. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm ACDC. Kind of same thing, yeah, right? Great right. band. and So you, you just keep adding things. At what point do you go, no, it's complete? Uh, with a rat route, it's never complete. Uh -huh. You're always going to look at something and I want to change this, I want to change that. Yep. Um, this started off somewhat small, little 350 cruiser. <laughs> Over the years, it was let's add this, let's do that. Yep. Then I got these guys going, what the fuck are you changing now? <laughs> uh, four years later, I'm almost five years into this build and this is what it's uh, progressed to. Are you done yet? You're never done with a rat rod. Uh, I mean, you got the propane back here for a barbecue later, for a grill. Um, tell me about this, because I love this. Crown Royal? Yeah. So this is a Crown Royal bottle. That is my overflow for my antifreeze, my cooler. Wow. 
also got flames that come That's what I heard. I heard a rumor that uh, these things get a little hostile. Yeah, I got, uh, I've actually got a little special treat for you guys tonight. You really? Have you ever seen Green Fire? No. A little methanol and boric acid combo I pump into my propane lines and it turns it neon green. We're going to break that out tonight. Wow. <laughs> Mate, it's just beautiful. Thank you. Good job. Googling eBay and looking for laser cut stuff, and I found a Punisher skull with the spider. Couldn't pass it up. Got a motorcycle filter. <laughs> yes, as you do. So these here were just to kind of keep uh, rain from getting in there. Um, kind of helps filter it out. That there's for a motorcycle. This was just a Walmart skull that I've oh, tinkered beautiful. with. And, and I even look down and see the spark plugs in the end of the... Yeah, that's how you ignite the flamethrowers. Oh, there's a strategy there. That's right. Good work, Jeremiah. Look inside that uh, last little like, box there right behind them. You can see, uh, you can see a standard G. Really? Oh, there you go. Yeah, those are my admirers. Very nice. That's right. She looks awfully comfy in here, Jeremiah. It's not bad. You didn't have a seat. Considering it's... Uh... We've been running around all day, so I've got all my stuff in there. But go ahead. Have a seat. Climb on in. This is my start. This is the start to a beautiful family that I never knew I had. It's a full throttle on a perfect time For the hometown folk or the big city grind Slide on a corner, don't it feel great? Like a winner on the home straight When you're up, when you're down, when you're messing around It's the guys and the gals, it's a here and the now There's whiskey and there's wine and either one is fine If you're since 2000 and what? <laughs> Cross your arms and look angry like the devil for me, would ya? Yikes, there's a lot of man city going on here. Well, you're short now. You used to 
be a big guy, now you're short. <laughs>
Alright mate, tell me about this bad boy. What do I need to know? It's a 1927 Ford. I built it in my driveway, literally in gravel just like this. No way. From the ground up. Sat out there, you know, no fancy shop, no nothing. Hand tools, Metabo, welder, and lots of nights standing back, just thinking and imagining shit to do. Oh, uh, right now I'm working on engraving the paisley pattern and all the bright work. I guess something like this is never finished, is it, right? Oh, you're always no, thinking of never. something new. You're, you're standing out there, you're enjoying a good cigar, a little bit of bourbon, and coming up with ideas non-stop. So what are we rolling here? Is there anything specific? Oh, Fat Bottom Betty. There you go. <laughs> Good old fat bottom Betty. That's right. You're always up to no good, Jeremiah. Always. Uh, we're putting together a rig and uh Is this your badass hot rod, mate? Yeah, it is, buddy. Tell me about it, would you? So, 1974 International Scout frame, everything 1984 or 1982 Chevy running gear, small block 350. Nice. Speed. And how long did it take to get to this point? Uh, it was about a year build. Okay. Yeah. And you Somewhere know, right pretty good around the city, I'm thinking. You can park it any way you like. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it does whatever I need. I ride it just like a side by side. <laughs> <laughs> Do a bit of rock crawling with it? Yeah, a little bit. Heading to Flat Nasty next weekend. Nice. Yep. Yep, yep. Good times, man. I like the way you got the cans just mounted back here, you know? Oh, yeah. Just yeah. part of the deal. Just oh, keep the balance, the, like ballast. Right. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, you got to drink to be able to own something like that. <laughs> <laughs> or if you didn't before, you would after you built it. Right.
mums. He's over here. Hot mums. Fumy in there, CJ? Like, uh, what's with the mask, mate? It ain't too bad. It's not too bad. Just like, well, just as long as you keep moving or whatever, it does good. <laughs> it adds, <laughs> to, the, it adds to the look. What are we doing here, mate? Which which kind are we rolling here? Uh, these are Trader Jacks. These nice. Are nice Trader Jacks. Nice. So tell me about this bad boy, mate. How long uh, did she take? What was she? Uh, 29 Model A, built it uh, in 97. Yep. 96, 97, somewhere in there, and we started then. Been in tons of shows and all kinds of stuff. Uh, won all kinds of awards, magazines, all that good stuff. It's been fun. That's one of the first ones we ever built. So it's a real, um, it's a real culture, CJ, isn't it? Like it's not just, not just something you build. You you get a family included in the That's price, it. right? That's what we always say, or whatever. It's love the family, or whatever. It's not even about the cars anymore for me. All this stuff we were just talking about it. All the guys, all the people, and everything. It's about the people, you know, and stuff. So and everybody gets, you know, comes from all over the United States, and well, we get people from all over the, all over the country. Yeah. Come in and, we get to have a lot of fun. Absolutely. She's beautiful, mate. What are you running? What motor is she? Uh, 355 now. Okay. Yeah, 355. Just tickled? Nothing too crazy? Yeah, a little bit. This one here has a little bit done to it. We had, we blew up the big motor a while back, and we built this one or whatever. We don't drive this one as much anymore. We took it to Chicago and a few other places. We used to drive it all over, and now we got other play toys to ride. But, so yeah, but uh, we kept it all original, and that's it. Yeah. We've got a four-speed in it, and Cruise it and have fun. Beautiful, mate. They'll Good be, to see you, buddy. They'll be burning the tires off here in a little bit. And Sweet. We'll new tires on it Sweet. Here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. About the busiest man in the world right now, Jimmy. Yeah, just a little bit right now. It's in full swing now. Uh, how long has this all been going on for, mate? This is the fifth year. Okay. Yeah, uh, this is the second year in Pacific, and 
this is the first year that the show was at is at Liberty Field, and it's the way it's going to be from here on out because it's just a great big venue. There's plenty of space for everybody to grow, and uh, I can't thank Pacific enough. The mayor, she was yeah, I heard the mayor is right behind you. Oh yeah, the whole the whole city is, and I mean, for them to. Re Supposedly, they said that this was the first outsider they let in their town. Okay. All their other shows was what they put on. Yep. And they they were paying attention to me in previous years, and they wanted me uh, here, and they love it so much, they want me to be here every year, and I can't thank them enough. But what they do for me and the city is amazing. Seems like there's cigars, music, yeah. food, family. Moonshine. Moonshine. <laughs> Thank you for mentioning that. And hot rods, like it's a it's a full ecosystem, isn't it? Oh yeah, shiny cars, motorcycles, rat rides. You got every form of vehicle on this event, you know, and that's the way it should be. Seems like no stress. Like everyone that owns something here is just cool. To, yeah. They're just pleased to have it out. And yeah, yeah. I've, this is the fifth year, and I've had one little situation uh, with a drunk person that was a local person. It wasn't even a rat rider. wasn't even that. That was the first year, but. All, all the rat ride events I've ever been to on other states, this is how they are. They're, they're here to see their friends, and they, they will not start trouble. They, they're just happy to see each other. Tell me about Handful. Uh, how many of these have you owned to be to start with? Uh, I've owned about five rat rides and a couple shiny cars, but a uh, Handful, my, 14, my son's 21 now, yep. Cannon. And at 14, he told me I had to up the game. Uh, I had a regular two-door sedan, just a gas motor. And he said, Dad, you got to up the game in the rat rod world. He goes, you got to put a diesel in it with dualies on air ride. And I said, can, wow. can you believe how hard that's going to be to fit it all in that car? He said, I don't care. you got to do it. Yeah. So at 14, he had the foresight of this to know that it, that it was going to be an amazing car. And if it wasn't for him, it would have never been built. And then after we built it, uh, a good friend of mine, Justin Taylor, that committed suicide uh, two years later, told me it had to go to Vegas to the biggest rat ride event out there. And uh, so uh, we took it out there to see if it would win a trophy and they come back winning the Master Builder Champion. Wow. And retired out there, which is the most humbling thing that you could ever have. And then uh, social media just blew took up. It, took it from there. So luckily, uh, I have great support around me, great people around me, and the greatest friends on the planet. So, uh, what is it? What did it start as? It started as a 1930-31 two-door sedan. Yeah, right. Yeah, and then uh, I built the frame, built the custom frame from scratch, uh, put a Dana 80 dually rear end in it, 12 valve out of 96 Dodge pickup, transmissions out of the same thing out of 96 Dodge pickup, and then built uh, the front end part, but that's what it was. Chopped it uh, four inches, uh, channeled it four. Uh, so, but yeah, that's a 30 31 two door sedan. <laughs> it was. It was. Now it's just badass. It's a little shorter. Uh, I appreciate uh, John Gibbs pointing me in your yeah, direction, John mate. We got Gibbs, some good mutual friends, yeah, haven't we? John Gibbs, Logan Daddy, he's the most amazing friend I've ever had. He's the greatest guy on the planet. And he helped me start this whole thing in progress. And you can't, you can't have better people than him and his wife. I'm glad he pointed us together, yeah, mate. I am too. I'm really glad to meet you. You've been something so far. I can't wait for future. We're gonna have some fun, mate. We'll talk to you a bit later, brother. All right, love you. See you, mate. Love you too, man. See ya. Show me the back of that shirt as you walk away. Jimmy Smooth Hot Rods. You got some cool merch too. I wonder if I can give the girls some love too. Yeah. Oh, Jeff, talk dirty to me. This thing is beautiful, mate. Uh, 1954 Pontiac Star Chief. Oh, a and Star it, Chief. Uh, chopped a good three plus inches, uh, bagged to the ground. Yes, it is. It's got the uh, hood ornament that lights up. Nice. It's a nice original uh, patina on there. And uh, then we got a... Uh, 
Oh. Original flathead straight eight. Their fractured mirror, which was originally a 110 ish horsepower. Yep. And now probably is about 80. <laughs> It's not about the mile per hour, it's about the style per oh, hour. Know, I could get up to 65, but stuff starts flying off. <laughs> Something flew off on the way here. I don't know what it was. I guess I'll find out. Probably your reputation. <laughs> exactly. exactly. You spent a bit of time on the interior, Jeff? Or? Uh, no, there's a little work done to the interior. But, uh, oh. I do have original panels so I can remake them. Look at this. I've been working on actually chopping all the windows on it and whatnot yep. so you know i gotta chop these vents and i've already done it basically it's kind of in uh, the middle of its stage yep. where i've fitted it all before i invest in buying new glass and stuff you know what color purple is this uh it's uh purple jeff Pur <laughs> jeff purple well i you know i bought it and it had this already on it and i think they did it black and then they overlaid it yeah, it works heavy purple Flake with yep. some other, I don't know if there's little touches of silver in it and whatnot, you know? Well, like Queen sang, fat bottom girls make the rock and world go round, Jeff. And she's got a great rear end. Good job, mate. I love that hat, mate. Thank you. How good is that? Where are you from? Los Angeles. No way. Not exactly Missouri. Not, well, I moved out here two years ago. Did you? Yeah. Wow, LA to Missouri. I know. And you didn't even look back, did you? And I don't know why, so don't ask. No, it's a beautiful, mate, the Midwest is where the most friendly people in the world are. The most beautiful place is LA, but it went to hell on a bucket. Boy, it's just terrible. <laughs> well, we're glad. These are Missouri folks right here. They're glad that you're here. Well, I know you ain't. Well, I'm from down south, mate. Way down south. Way down yeah, south. Well, so am I. Cool looking, cool looking at, mate. Hey, thank you. Appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Stop calling dad public. Just kidding, thanks for letting me drive your shit. <laughs> just, just yeah, thanks, brother. Right? <laughs> <laughs> driving past. So we did the interior ah, beautiful. And, and also a handful. Ah, beautiful. We pulled that off in two and a half days last weekend for the show. This one we did about a, a mile of glow in the dark stitching. Oh, it's white during so the day. It glows show me whereabouts. It's white in the day. And show glows, me what you do. It glows neon green at night. Wow. Okay, Dad. I was going to call you Dad now the hot women aren't here. <laughs> So this was our great friends in El Paso and we were there for from when it very first started out as just a cab of a car. We were there the day that they molded this, yep. welded it all down. So the engine on here is actually out of a Patriot yeah. missile yep. launcher radar. And he used to service on this way he had access to all that. I'm tired too, mate. I get it. Uh, it's like, I want to throw rocks, Dad. Yeah, that's what we like to do. <laughs>
Boy, what this gives new meaning to the term smoke and grass. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll just shove it off and get... So I love this for two reasons. That shirt to start with, <laughs> you wanted the best, you got the best, the hottest rock and roll band in the world. And this bad boy. Please tell me about this gorgeous truck, mate. I have this 69 Chevy C10 that I picked up kind of cheap. Had a motor in it that went south on me, then I put another little motor in it, and then I ran across this 454. And now we've just kind of got it. You ran it. across a 454. Yeah, it, it, you know. It's clean. What color is this? Like what color orange? I don't know. That's what it was when I got it. Okay. And it was too much orange, so I put the little sticker on the side to break it up a little bit. It looks very General Lee. It's got a bit of jigs. It has a look and feel yeah, about it. A little it. bit, but it's a cash and speed shop, not built for your approval. <laughs> Love it. And this is your convertible in here too, mate? Yeah. Looks like you should have Elvis in the back of it, you know? Yeah, it should, yeah. Yep. What, what is it about rat rods that, and this community that you love? Why are we seeing people here that are so passionate? Well, everybody comes together, everybody's friends. I've gotten to know 40, 50 people very well that all we got to do is call and say, hey, we got a problem, and they're there. It's kind of like our military family. This is one of my military brothers. I yeah, appreciate and your service, you guys. We've only got like 35 years. I only did 27, but, you know, uh, all come together, everybody takes care of it, it becomes one big family. Yeah. So right on, God bless, God speed. No approval necessary. <laughs> Appreciate your service, boys. You. Beautiful truck, mate. You got yourself a green cup that matches your green shirt. <laughs> I've never tried a cigar with it before. I... Oh, <laughs> All right. Oh! 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 oh. My skateboard, my skateboard helmet for when I go on the concrete wall again. You need to wear it. So, I believe, I believe there, right? That's something else. Jeez. Hey. Oh, that's the, that's the exhaust cover. We'll figure it out. it got to do some adjusting on it, but... Some tuning on it? That's cool as hell, mate. There it is. <laughs> There's a lot of love in this whole deal, isn't it? Like that's one thing I really find, boys. You know. That's why these people come from all over the states. Now we got Rod in Minnesota. There's just people from all other states, and when they come here, this is their vacation. Some some of these people want to get to see us each other one time a year and they make it at a rat ride event yeah and this is this is their home looks like someone's grilling out down the very end down there is that uh... <laughs> you might want to go visit cannon <laughs> sounds good uh, hope you enjoyed your green cup there mate oh, you okay oh, with that yeah. right with a shirt yeah it's for guys and for gals and to hear in the now there's whiskey and there's wine and either one is fine if you bought me a drink it's got to be It's a full throttle on a perfect time For the hometown folk or the big city grind Slide on a corner, don't it feel great? Well, hi, Brian. What you got in that nice green cup there? Go juice. Is it like this? Could be that. Could be that. Could be that. Could be that. Probably is that. Good chance.
going on over there? Oh god. Steve-o?
Hey, you don't smoke, do you? You don't smoke. I missed it. Oh, you missed it. Oh. We'll do another one later. <laughs> we'll do another one later. Hey, get on Hey, buddy, you got a smoke? Yeah, baby! Woo -woo. How the hell do you get in there, Jeff, to start with? Barely. Wearing your balls as earrings. Barely. <laughs> gotta fold myself in there. Well, now. That baby was rolling. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Look at this guy with his cool T-shirt. Number one in Germany, Tennessee. <laughs> so, I'm talking to my first Missouri mayor. And we, we, you're wrapped in old glory here, Heather, so you know, can't get much more American than that. Um, what an amazing little city you have here. Well, thank you very much. It is a city, right? It is a city, yes. Okay. What, what constitutes a city? Is it a population thing, or is every place a city? Every place is a city in the state of Missouri. Okay. Um, a, a city or a town. Normally the cities have more of a population, and then there's different levels of cities, so we're considered a fourth class city. Okay. Well, I consider you a first class city. Well, I like that even better. <laughs> it's a sweet little place. Um, train city, like... Yes. I saw the, the sign today. It was very nice. Uh -huh. the trains go through all the time. We have three Oh, tracks. I noticed that. It was like my cousin Vinny. You know, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yes. <laughs> Why is this event important to your city? Because it just brings people to our community that may not know much about us. Um, and, you know, I'm very proud of our community. It's a very hometown feel. Everybody is welcome here. And so when we have events like this that help promote and get people here from all across the world, yep. like, like yeah. you, for example, um, it, just, it just really makes me feel proud of what we have here, what we have to offer, and that people feel comfortable enough to put on fabulous events like this. It would be easy outside to be scared of this, to think, oh, they're all, they're all tattoos and right. they've got <laughs> wild old cars, it's gonna be violent and nothing could be further from the truth. That is so, that is so very true. I mean, I've talked to our police department and you know, they walk around, but they're like, yeah, this is one of the easiest events we've ever had to monitor. Absolutely. Because the people that attend, and the, whether they're here showing their cars, or our vendors, or the people coming to see all of this, everybody's great. They they respect everybody, uh, and so that that makes a lot less uh, you know stress for us. How do you measure the economic impact of it, Heather? Because that, that's significant. I mean, I'm just it an is. example. I came in and spend yes. the weekend in town at the Airbnb and went to the cigar uh -huh, place terrible. last night. Yeah. I went to um, Brown Jerry's. I was say saw a Jeremiah Jerry, play. Yep. So everybody spends money in the town. They do. And with us having uh, a little bit of everything, so we have the hotels, we have the restaurants, we have the retail. The gas stations. The gas stations, you know, grocery store if you need to go get some groceries. We have it all. And so events like this bring so much revenue to us because people are here for more than one day. Yeah. So they're staying in our hotels. They are going and trying different restaurants. They're going to our little coffee shop that we have in town. Yeah, yeah, Little Island. It was nice. Yeah, so... It's definitely an economic uh, perk for us. And, and you've got the pop-ups, you know, the, the food yes. food vendors that you've got here today. And so it just it just flows on. And, and not only that, none of my friends knew where Pacific Missouri was, and I'd never even heard of it. And I live in the Pacific, <laughs> right? Just a, just a different kind of Pacific. So hopefully what happens from all this is you end up with a, a broader footprint. Yes, that is the goal. The goal is to put Pacific Missouri on the map. I want people to, when they hear the word Pacific, they automatically go, oh, Missouri, I know exactly where that is. It's off 44, it's off old Route 66. Been there, love that little bedroom type community. That's what I want to see happen. That is so cool. Oh, 
You've even got the Stephen King Christine book in the front seat? Yeah, man. Fuck yes, you do. I mean, pardon me, I mean, heck yes, you do. Don't, don't say fart, mate. Say fuck all you want. That is fucking great, mate. Good. How good is that? That was in the club box when I bought it. There's no shit. Come over here, please, sir. We need to talk. Is this your bad boy? Yeah. Come over this way, please. Unless you're in a witness protection program, and I understand that. I am also in the witness protection What's program. your name, mate? Andrew Van Hoogstraat. Good, um, good to meet you, Andrew. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> it doesn't get much more German than that. Does Where it? are you from, mate? Uh, I'm from, uh, I live in Lowndell. Okay. So, yeah. This, when you rolled in, I was expecting it to be like charred and, you know, smoke coming off it. Remember that scene in Christine where the oh, thing yeah, rolled back absolutely. in? and yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So what is it? Uh, it's a 1958 Plymouth Belvedere. Yes, it is. Yeah, so, so a little bit about uh, the 1958 uh, Plymouth Belvedere. So in uh, the movie Christine, the book Christine, it was in the 1958 Plymouth Fury. But yes. In the movie, they used 1958 Plymouth Belvedere's because they were cheaper than Fury's. So they could wreck them, they could destroy them, and it'd be cheaper on the movie. Is your name Vera Rose? Yeah? Is this your car? Yes. What's it called? Kistine. Kistine. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I, you got interrupted. That's we'll do a right. mic, motorcycle burnouts and stuff. That's Don't you fall good. out of there. Oh, no, no. So, so you were saying that that's a bit of a, an urban myth, right? That it was a different car to what people said it was. Yeah, so uh, according to the book, it was a 1958 Plymouth Fury. Uh -huh. uh, but in the movie, what they mainly used <laughs> was a 1958 Plymouth Belvedere and Savoy's because they were cheaper. Uh, so because they, they destroyed... Hey, Joe! They destroyed over... They destroyed... I dropped my eyes, Dad. That's all right, baby. They destroyed over 20 oh. 1958 Plymouths in the movie. So it was cheaper to destroy Belvedere's and Savoy's than it was Fury's. So this is actually 1958 Plymouth Belvedere. And the book came in the in the purchase? The book was actually in the glove box. Oh. Man, that thing would be worth some, right? Yeah, it could be. Flick through those pages gently yeah, for me. Absolutely. Oh, yep. look at uh -huh. oh, look at all that Stephen King goodness. Oh yeah, that's he's good the stuff. man, mate. That's good he stuff. He is right the there. man. Eat it, eat it. Oh. Yeah. I actually have the original owner's manual on the glove box as well. Can you, you show me, me that? that absolutely. Yes, please. Yep. Uh huh. And we got WSP playing in the background. <sighs> yep. Oh. Original oh. owner's manual. 1958. You're ahead for keeps. Yep. So, from 1955 Designed. to 1962, <laughs> yep. they called these the forward look. Jeez. These were forward look. Virgil Exner was the designer for Chrysler back in the day for these. Okay? And they called it the forward look because they were always looking into the future. Oh, okay? Yeah. So that's why all your Chryslers from 1955 to 1963, they were all very space age and atomic and big yeah, big yeah. wings and whatnot. Virgil Exner was a, was a great designer, you know? So, and in 1960, okay, that was the biggest wing that Chrysler had. It was huge, okay? But it, uh, it had a face on the front of it, only a mother glove. Yep. Okay, in 1961, <laughs> no more fins. They were done. Oh. And then that was it. Damn. All right, you hoodlums. What do you got planned? Your hair has changed now, mate. Now you've, uh, you've taken... Oh. Hang on, let me get the sun through that so I can get a nice slow-mo <laughs> shot of that. Just, you know...
there we go. You were supposed to bring them back. Yeah, while you were doing the burnout. That would have been I cool, wouldn't it, right? We could re we could reshoot it. No, find me another tire. <laughs> Think of the internet hits you'll get. Hang on, hang on. You should have done a burnout. I know I should have. You should at least, you know, even if it sucked, it would have broken the internet, you know? It should have been awesome. Hey, but we're dialed in. Now see that. Uh, see that. Yes, sir. Bit of dad bod burnout. I love it. Well, we might try one. All right, I think you should. This guy, this guy looks like he could do it. Yeah. He's, he's young and, you know. Young and dumb and Well, I of, wasn't going to say that. Full but, of young. But now that you have. Hey, let's fire it up, man. Let's do a burnout for it. Let's do give it. it. Give it a pull. You're the guy I heard about. Uh oh. Jeez. We're down under. Yes, sir. No pressure. Oh, yeah, listen right. to that. Give us some drop. Come in. Come now, just give it a jab. Reach over here. Yeah, go for it. Come on. Mate, this thing is so cool. Thank you. Beautiful work, mate. Is it really? Oh, mate. All right, buddy. Smoke some of that smoke up in the air for me. Give me a bit of a puff. Watching all moonshine. I've had a few today. Yes, you have. <laughs> so when is this thing going out? Come on. Not you, young lady, I meant the car. Just to clarify. Has it? Yeah, the only thing that's going to be on is the trailer then. Sweet. Oh, you didn't do another burnout? I didn't do one to begin with. But did it hop? You said it hop, right? So in slow-mo, that would look amazing though, right? Anybody else out here can spread out of it? Mate, whereabouts are you from? Ewing, Missouri. What's your name, buddy? Josh Endicott. Good to meet you, Josh. You too. Tell me about this sweet looking hot rod. So it's a, uh, the front half is a 1928 model, no, not model A. The front half is a 1928 Essex. Okay. It started life as a four door sedan. Yep. And it was missing a front door, so grafted two rear doors together and added um, Model A Sport Coupe rear quarters that I found in a <laughs> farmer's field. Yes. And wrapped it all together. Um, little little personal touches like this. Yeah. Little things here and there. A lot of 357 shells went into this thing. And importantly, there's a great spot for the Yeti cup to sit. Because, yeah. you know, that that's yeah. important, right? I have, a, I have a cup holders, man. Yeah, there it is. I get it. So why rat rods? Why, why is it such a culture, do you think? Like, why do people love them so much? Everyone's different. You can use your imagination. Yeah, that's a good point, yeah. And you literally take junk, somebody's junk, mm -hmm. and turn it into more or less a piece of rolling art. Somebody's trash is someone's treasure. Exactly. 
This thing is gorgeous, mate. The Mercury, huh? Yeah. What made you go with that? With what was available? Kind of. Um, it actually took me a while to find one. But more so because nobody runs them. Yeah. I wanted something that was completely different. It wasn't a small block Chevy. It wasn't a small block Ford. Something just run of the mill. Well, you've achieved that, mate. And the white walls, so good. She's beautiful, mate. It's good to see you. Thank you. Enjoy your rat rod life. Yeah, will do. I'm sure you will, mate. How good is that? 70 going twice, 80 bucks. What stogie you're rolling, mate? What's, what's the cigar of choice? Uh, this is a big sky from the cigar ball. Oh yeah, they, they rock. Yeah, yeah. cool. It's a ripper show, isn't it? I love this. I love this. Yep. Enjoy your cigar. Thanks. Hope the economy improves. Let's hope. <laughs> well, man, and at least until then, you can keep drinking. That's right. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Signed hat. Do you see it? It looks good on you. Want to try it on? 50 bucks. We got a $50 bid. We got a $50 bid going once. We got a $50 bid going. We got a $60 bid. We got. He bid 60. He bid 70. We got a $70 bid right here. We got a $70 bid going once. We got, you bit, let him have it. $70 big going twice. So, 70 bucks. Thank you. Thank you very much. It looks pretty. Really? That's so pretty. In Australia, we call this graffiti, but it's pretty here. Right off the top, Keith, I'm gonna tell you, you're my kind of guy. F-O-R-D. First on race day, baby. <laughs> this is a gorgeous piece. Please tell me about it. Uh, it's a 64 F100. It's got a 06 Crown Vic front end under it, a weight Mustang rear end under it, uh, five liter, five speed out of a 1990 Mustang. All F-O-R-D, pretty well. Yep, all oh, motorcraft battery. Oh, there you go. So how long was the build? Uh, I, I bought it mostly like this, so uh, I'm not sure how long it took him to build it. How long I was the buy it. then? <laughs> I bought it about two years ago. Yeah, yeah, okay. I've done a lot to it since I've got it. Yeah. Overall, you know, it was a decent truck when I got it. Can you ever be happy with something like this or are you always looking for improvements? Because in the rat rod world, you never stop, do you? No, no, it's, it, you're always putting money into it. Like this, this winter, that motor will probably come out and get a little... Little, little tickle up? Yeah, a little bit. How often do you drive it? Oh, I drive the hell out of it when it's nice out like this. I, have, I probably put, I don't know, 5,000 miles on it this year. Wow. So, which ain't bad for a toy. Yeah, absolutely. So, 
I've, uh, got, I've got other toys, so it, it has to share time with them. All Fords, of course. Yep. Well, no. No? No. I got oh, listen to that sound. I got a 66 Galaxy, so. Oh, okay. Well, I, I'll let you get away with that. Yeah, clear. So, but no, overall, fun little truck. Isn't this a great community? It is, it is. That's awesome. the cool bit, right? Yeah. People yeah. are just friendly and, and you know. Had a, some, anyone who wasn't friendly here, that's for sure. Yeah, everyone yeah. just seems to be happy to hang out and yeah. there's no competitiveness, well, you know. Car shows back in the day, they were all pretty and shiny and yeah. it, it's not the same anymore, you know. Stuff you'd be embarrassed to take to a car show, that was cool, so, you know. What color do you call this? Uh, this is Ford F1 Red. Okay. So, I was hoping you weren't just going to say it was a red. red truck. Was that? It was an original red truck. It just got got shot over, and I mean, there you can tell there's no body work done to it. No, <laughs> it's got dents and things in it. It's right. a great looking truck, mate, and I love I seeing it as a Ford. Yep. See, Fords are too fast to have a lawn chair in the back, right? Yeah. Actually, that's my lawn chair. <laughs> How did that get in there? But this thing's a this thing's a big block Chevy, and that little Ford whipped the shit out of it. <laughs> I like hearing those kind of stories. Hardest working people that I have seen here, young lady. What is your name? My name is Asha. Now, where? What do you do with all this sort of stuff? You just been shooting all the content for I Jimmy. I shoot all the content, the video, and then we get to send them out on social media. And every single driver gets to have beautiful pictures to put of their car in burnout and along the way in the ride, and all goes to charity. What is your favorite part of days like today? The smiles of everybody we touch. Yeah. Seeing how far Jimmy's reach can bring all the hearts together and we can be serving hard and love on everybody that's with uh, How many pictures have you taken today, young lady? 1,282. Mm -hmm. And you're not finished yet? No, with the sun's gonna go down and the flamethrowers are coming out. <laughs> love it. Yes. Good. You do a great job, love. You've hardly stopped all, all weekend, so well done to you. Thank you. We love everything you guys stand for and from across the way. We hope we can bridge that gap. Absolutely. Yes, sir.
Bevo, you wild critter. Oh. What's going on, brother? Just having a bit of a grill out? That's how we do it. <laughs> That's how we do it. Marika. Hey, next time, can we have a good time, please? I mean, I've been really bored here, you know? Like, it's just never been going anything on. It's been... Bring more moonshine. More moonshine, that's what we need. We need to rewrite... More methanol moonshine, please. We need to rewrite that song, Jeremiah Had a Rat Rod. Not Jeremiah Was a Bullfrog, right? There you go. There you go. We need to talk to Jeremiah Johnson on that one. Yes, we... Yes, yes. Look at these two people. These are a couple of badasses right here. This is Jeff and Paula. What's going on, guys? Just, Just hanging, hanging out. Hanging out. I saw you last night dancing last night to Jeremiah Johnson. You know, if you stood right over here for me just for a second, just stand in the middle there for a second. Hear that music, Paula? Could you just uh, groove a little for me, please? Put those drinks down. Come on. You got to do what you did last night. Get your arms around and let's a bit of movement here. That's not the way you were dancing last night. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Love it up. You got all that candlelight I organized for you here. It's really great to meet you guys. I appreciate your friendship a lot. And that was fun last night. For sure. God, they love their fire, don't they? You guys down under or something else. Hey, it's not me. It's the guy from Zuri here. He's the wild critter, this guy here.
<laughs> hey Tyler, is that you? <laughs> you in there, brother? <laughs> hey, you in there, mate? <laughs> Hey Jeff, are you in there, mate? Yeah, baby. <laughs> you survived? Yeah, I did. It's like, Same thing. It's like, a, off it's all like the time. a Cheech and Chong yeah. movie. <laughs> nice. Hey, what shirt you got on there, mate? Look at this shirt. Look at this. Oh, oh, would you look at that? Methanol. Well, God, we a, we <laughs> good work, Taylor. Oh, hey, mate, what's going on, Mike? Hello, mate. What's going on? Miles, you burn. There you go. Yeah. Where we're at, right here. Absolutely. Right, Dollar in. Let me see that. Dialed in. Dialed in. Dialed in, brother. Hey, sugar bitches. He wants to do a little interview with you. Tell me about this. This is such a cool idea. Oh, yeah. Where did this idea come from? Um, well, I'm an artist. And yep. um, I wanted to do some designs. And this is called Siren. Yep. And so I started doing, um, drawing some mermaids and stuff on it. And then we're like, well, let's go ahead and bring the chalk and let the kids draw on it. Come this way so you can show me because I don't want to put yeah. my shadow on it. Oh, so, yeah, well, and sometimes it's prettier than others, but it's it's all about kids, you know. Yeah, it's all yeah. heart, right? Yeah, and they get to do whatever they want. There's really no rules, you know. Freestyle. It's freestyle. And it's a new canvas every time. So I photograph it, and they have had tons of fun all day. I gotta ask, why sugar britches? Oh, well. Or shouldn't I ask? I am. I like to dance. Yep, oh yep, 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 yep. A little sugar in the tank, I get it. Yeah. Yep, 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 I'm a dancer. Oh, it's just so good. Oh yeah, I got her before. Yeah. Good for you, love. Good for you. It's nice to meet you, sugar britches. Hey, <laughs> So thank you for having me. I've had a blast, mate. Thank you, sir. This is something special, I believe. I believe too. But we, I believe that Mike Glover's coming in hot. You might want to this to this guy is an absolute <laughs> weapon. I mean, here we are. Dine her in, man. Dine her in. <laughs> He's got a bit of a Jack Black hat. quality to show, him. Show him your hat. Coming in hot, sucker. <laughs> He's got a bit of a Jack Black quality to him, you know? Yeah, like, I love Jack Black. You know, Jack Black. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> you know how he rolls. Yes, I do. Yes, sir. Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, Dollar in. You got a lot of great characters at this show, we don't do. you? We got a lot of great people with great hearts in this. Yeah. Show. And uh, it's just. Uh, she just, knows a good man when you when you yeah, see one, don't you, Dylan? Very good man. I'm, uh, I'll I'm, see you next I'm, year, okay? I'm just a lucky man. I'll definitely see you next year. With, with uh, Logo Daddy, John Gibson. Yeah. He's going to be here with his beautiful wife. Yeah, absolutely. All right. See you guys, you guys next time. Love, Love you, mate. Guys. Goodbye, Pacific. It's been real. Time to go.